And as millions of Americans at airports face those long security lines, we have news tonight about the threats that make those checks so critical. Four men from Southern California are under arrest, charged with plotting to join Al-Qaeda and kill Americans. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas covers Homeland Security for us. Good evening, Pierre. Good evening, George. As we head toward the holiday season, U.S. law enforcement will be on the hunt for any terror plots aimed at destroying our joy. And today the FBI provided a wake-up call that there may be radicals among us. Anwar Alalaki was the world's most wanted man, public enemy number one, encouraging radicals to attack America in his online preaching. The U.S. killed him in a drone strike in September 2011, but today we learn Alaki is still helping to recruit terrorists from the grave. Overnight, the FBI announced charges against four California men accused of plotting to go to Afghanistan to bomb and kill U.S. soldiers. They were disciples of Alaki. There was an extensive amount of their admiration for him and, quite frankly, um, idealizing Anwar Alaki. The alleged ringleader of the group, Sahil Omar Kabir, was a former member of the U.S. Air Force. The FBI claims the alleged terror cell had conducted training, including going to shooting ranges, and had even bought tickets to travel to Afghanistan through Mexico. This was a valid violent extremist network. Uh, we took this very, very seriously. According to the FBI's charges, one of the alleged terror cell's members had posted violent extremist media, including audio files of al -Laki. ABC News has discovered at least 30 cases brought against so-called homegrown radicals where Alaki was a primary inspiration. They include recent plots to blow up the U.S. Capitol building, the Federal Reserve in New York, and another to detonate a car bomb at a Chicago bar. All the cases came after Alaki was dead. George, some officials fear we may see Alaki's influence for years to come. He lives on online.